It started on a journey two and a half years ago, and um, it's been quite, um, it's been very influential for us with regards to redecoration of the nursery. And then obviously from there, when we worked with all the dens and how they worked, we were able to, luckily, be able to get hold of the Bags of Families. And um, our, our sort of books for breakfast started there. It was, you know, it sort of opened the box uh, one day, it arrived in a big box, and we were like, well, what are we going to do with this, and how is this going to work? And uh, are we just going to lend it out to the parents? And uh, we thought about it for a while. We thought, well, no, what we need to do is, is uh, model how we thought they should be used. So we um, decided on breakfast time, because they tend to have more time at that point in the day. And so we cleared a room, uh, set all the rooms up, and um, invited all the parents in. And we had a really, really good response, and it went from there. And within sort of two or three months, we were able to resource the equipment ourselves and then lend the bags. And it's now been going for over two years. So basically you set up the room with mm -hmm. a variety of different spaces, so yes. some enclosed, some small, some larger, some yeah. open and floor defined. Yes. Breakfast is available mm -hmm. and so for the first hour and a half of the day, they parents just can come in with their children. In, uh, with their children, uh, they can come and have a chat with other parents, read a story, have a chat with the staff. Uh, it's definitely improved our relationships with our parents. Um, I can't see. I'm <laughs> Just been into a session called Books for Breakfast. That's right, yes. And and how did you find that? Absolutely fantastic. It's a great opportunity to um, interact with your child on a small scale uh, with very little, you know, distraction. And uh, it's almost a very comfy, cosy zone where a child can feel comfortable, safe, and secure, and and feel, you know, confident in reading with with their parents. And I suppose the way that the room's set up makes a difference in terms of oh, how that happens. Certainly, yeah, absolutely, because um, we've just been reading a story about a spider, and luckily enough we were sitting in a little zone which was all about spiders, with spiders' webs, which you'll also um, shall notice that, you know, oh, mummy, this is a web, and you've got spiders. So it reflects on what we're reading as well. Yeah. And I think the fact that, although you've got a lot of parents and children in there, you've got um, defined spaces, some of them are enclosed, That's and like you say, that reduces the visual display. That's right, yeah. It's a bit more sort of, um, you almost feel like there's no other distractions around. It's just yeah, you in this yeah. little space. Yeah. Uh, and, and like I said, it, it, it's You've obviously used Tiger Families because you've been coming to Books for Breakfast for a while. Yes. How do you get on with them at home? Um, we love them so much so that we've actually bought some material and bits to make dens at home because we've enjoyed it so much. And um, yeah, that's playing in them, isn't it? Yeah. Whether books or anything, enough to get toys in there. Yeah, and we yeah. actually had to have um, lunch and dinner in one of your... <laughs> After we borrowed the first one, so he enjoyed it so much. Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah. And how, how do you think it makes a difference? I mean, like, you, were, you were, as a family, really focused in that space just now. Yeah. How do you feel that having that smaller, enclosed, you were in the camo space, how did that make a difference, do you think, too? Well, it's just lovely and snug, and you're really focusing on what, you know, all the, um, the books and things. And it's just nice having that quiet time together, without all the distractions around the house. And so we always make a real effort to come to the sessions mm -hmm. at the nursery here. Um, but no, it's lovely, so much so that we've yeah, built dens at home and 
put a pile of books in there as well. So oh, lovely. Really, hopefully she'll you know enjoy it just as much. I've demolished, changed his mind back for each other. I've got this one. Yeah, <laughs>